Hello and welcome back to the SBC football preview. I am your host Alexander along with Sebastian and Dave and we are going to be going over multiple things with the 2017 NFL season. First of all we're going to go with fantasy football. Um, which players in fantasy do you think are going to really impact the uh, fantasy world? Um, well Typically, as in every year recently, Antonio Brown is probably my top pick. If you have a top three pick and he, or even top five pick, and he's available in your draft, take him immediately. He he is so versatile. He can run it off of a reverse. He can catch. He can block. He's just so impactful, and especially in a PPR league, he gets you so many points. He is an incredible athlete. What do you think about that, Dave? I'm gonna go running back here. I'm gonna go um, uh, Zeke Elliott. Uh, he ran a lot last year for Dallas, did a lot. Um, got up to Rookie of the Year. Um, almost got MVP. I think he deserved my vote. Um, but I think I look at Zeke Elliott. He's, he's a good runner. He runs the ball very well. He's agile. Um, he makes moves. He gets you first downs. He gets you a lot, a lot of points. I mean, I understand Ezekiel Elliott, but I mean, he more than likely is going to be suspended. And also, as fantasy, running backs aren't really as important as other positions like wide receiver and tight end and flex. I mean, Ezekiel Elliott is one of the top running backs in the league, but I, I see him going a little more like not like still first round, but like later down because of his suspension. Are you concerned at all about suspension or? Yeah, so if you don't go for Ezekiel Elliott, um, I would look for recently uh, drafted Panthers running back Christian McCaffrey out of Stanford. Uh, Stanford, who has really had a lot of success in the football program. Rose Bowl win a few years ago against Iowa. Um, McCaffrey leading the team. He's a good runner. He's going to be bat He's going to be Robin to Cam Newton, who's Batman. Um, he's going to run the ball really efficient. And if he does that, look for him to get you a lot of points in fantasy. So, is this as like a first round pick or later in the draft? I would say later in the draft. Okay. Definitely take okay. Then, then I just want to make sure because yeah. I want to make sure we're on the same page. All right. So, um. Let's move on to the um, impactful players of the season. So maybe like MVP, Rookie of the Year, guys like that. Just start off MVP. Who are you looking at? MVP. I'm going. I have two candidates. I have Tom Brady. I mean, if he puts up another outstanding season like he did last year, which he is completely capable of, he's just he has the fan base. He just has everything. He has the ability, and also with the fact that he's I think nearing 40. If he's not 40 already, I've not. He's gonna be in two weeks. Two weeks, okay, that's what I thought. But, I mean, he, the, the fact that he's able to put on this production at his age is just outstanding. And also, Derek Carr, he's been rising up through since he started, since he came into the NFL. I feel like this could be his breakout year. I thought it might be it last year. He got injured. I feel like this is his time. I 100% agree. What do you think about that, Dave? I'll go MVP and Rookie of the Year. Uh, rookie of the Year, I'm going to go with Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson what, led the team, led Clemson. So the national title win over Alabama. He got drafted by the Texans, who have a strong air game and a strong defense. He's going to go use the air. He's going to use it. Uh, he's got strong targets in um, uh, DeAndre Hopkins and Jalen Strong at ASU. Um, so look for him to stand out and definitely be rookie of the year. He's not, he's not the guy that's going to beat that's not, He's not going to beat the Patriots, but he's definitely going to give you a shot for rookie of the year. MVP, um, I like Khalil Mack. I think. You know, Max is a good defensive player. He's a good linebacker. Gets you a lot of sacks. I mean, look at the game against Carolina. Um, big sacks, especially in the fourth quarter. But that's the Raiders win. Um, I think this could, if he has another breakout year like he did last year, he, he definitely deserves to be up with the MVP. Talk. I mean, I agree that Khalil Mack is an outstanding player, but I just don't feel like he's in that MVP caliber class. I don't know if he has the same effect on a team yeah. as like a quarterback would or a running back would. What do you think about that, though? Um... I mean, that's true, um, but I think, like, I know he had a really, really good year last year. True. But I think this year is going to be his best year. He's going to, I think he's going to break out this year. He's going to get, he's not going to win it, but he's going to be up there with all the other MVP candidates. Okay. All right, looks like that's going to wrap it up. This is the SPC football preview. I'm Alexander with Sebastian and Dave, and good night, everybody.